up what's up everybody just want to welcome you to the channel today i'm going to be doing the review of my 2017 chrysler 200 you see back there all right so let's do this Enjoy so this the is my 2017 chrysler 200 limited platinum i'm gonna try to do the review as fast as i can because I, I dislike long videos you know especially when i go myself watching youtube so let's get started so as you know they discontinued this car in 2017 so we're gonna start from here um so far i love this car i've owned toyotas i've owned mazdas brand new cars you know i've always buy and this is my first chrysler and i am in love with the car the tints i had it made that's the only thing i've added to this car is really the tinted windows and some seat cushions because my interior is light so let me open the trunk for you so you guys can see it's a it's a nice big space both chairs go down and in the middle console there, there's a hole, which I'll show you in here, spare tire. Okay. Nice big space trunk. The car, so this one is a four cylinder, living a platinum. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm in love with the car. And I'm not, I'm not the type to change stuff. The only thing I do want to add is um, LED this is LED, the strip right here, but the light bulb is not. I want to change. Let me turn it on so you guys can see. I want to, I want to change the light bulb and put LEDs. In. And let me also open the hood so you guys can see that. All right. Okay, here we go. So as you can see with the lights, let me turn them on because the lights here, they have auto. Let me put the lights on. You guys can see it. See if it comes on there. So as you can see, the strip is like I guess you can't see it right now, but this is a LED, and this is a regular light bulb. That's the only thing I want to change, which I, I should be doing pretty soon. I'll show you guys the engine compartment. Really nice. I mean, I, I, I like the engine for a four-cylinder. It has nice pickup. It uh, takes off nicely in the highway. Um, like I said, the only thing I added to the car is um, these seat cushions right here. This is the only thing I've added. I put in all my chairs because the, the, you know, what happens is that uh, I have like a light color. So, um, so I added these for when people sit down, they don't dirty them with their butts, you know, with the jeans and stuff. I heard that if you wear jeans, it can mess up the leather, this color. So I added this in all my chairs. I bought this on Amazon. I added this for the middle console to protect this. And it's, it's, kind, of, it's kind of big, but it's good. My daughter and I both like it. And I also did it to the back chair. So I'm 5'9". I weigh about 170 pounds. My chair's almost all the way back. All right, and as you can see, there's good space. I'll sit down. I don't know if you can see it there. Not sure, but look. See, my legs fit perfect. Okay. So, this, like I said before, both chairs, they split, they go down. All you gotta do is touch this right here, and it flips forward. You could also do the middle console, and there's a hole right through here to the trunk for easy access, you know. There we go. Okay, now let's go to the front see the door sorry i'm trying to do the as i can for you guys won't be here for 10 minutes watching a video let me close the door all right so this is push button to start it you need the key of course so i'm going to start the car i like my shifter some people complain about it i have no problem i like it the parking brake the way it is automatic i like it um my screen I wish I had the new screen with Apple Play. What happens is Chrysler stopped making this car in 2017. And I believe that's when they started with the bringing Apple Play. It was in 2017 with the 300, I believe it was. So because my car being no more, they didn't even add it, which is suck. But, you know, it has a few apps. Pandora there. Um, I don't use none of these. Slacker, whatever that is. Um, this car comes with heated seats. For the driver and passenger, the dimming mirror. Let me put the AC on because I am hot. You have climate control here, which you could, you know, control from here if you wanted to. Right? Uh, you see, you could control it from here if you wanted to, or from the knobs here. 
which is really cool. Okay, um, I bought the car with like, uh, how many miles? I think I bought it with like 4,000 miles of like brand new. And uh, I paid 17,000 for it. I got a really good deal. And I was gonna get a Camry and I test drove it and I really, really like this one. The mirror comes with the 911 and the assist. I have not tried it. Um, the radio comes with satellite radio, AM, FM. Um, what else? Oh, over here in the middle console, so you have two cup holders that you could use, right? And this right here, I guess, this is to put little things or your cell phone. Your cell phone, I have an A plus and it fits perfect there. Um, you press this button and this slides back and that's just the middle console for you to have stuff or you could, your two USBs right here and an aux cable and this is for you to put the, which I don't use no more, the plug one, I forgot how you call that one, the cigarette lighter, sorry. So it has a hole through here which is a little console here and you can bring the cables right you know through here so also when you close this you can open the middle console and there's a hole i know you can see there's a hole that goes in here for you to have access to this side from back here all right and you can store your stuff there the left compartment is good size um for sunglasses it has the the holder these are just for the lights right here both of them the mirror is kind of disappointing, but the mirrors don't have lights. You would think it will have, but you know, it's cool. I mean, freak it, turn these lights on and both of them. And the trunk release button is right there. Like I said, I have automatic lights. All right, guys, so there you have it. This is the Chrysler 200 Limited Platinum. I recommend it. I love this car. It drives real nice. I've driven it. Um, the furthest I've gone, I think, is a two-hour and a half drive, and it's comfortable. For me and my passengers, it's comfortable. It's a beautiful car, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video, all right, guys? Thanks for watching, and enjoy your day. And remember, always, always, no matter what, always stay positive. So, so is anybody here going to do a negative comment? That's fine with me, because I don't think about negativity. All I put is positive in here anytime, every time. See you guys. Thanks for watching.